Hey, hey, family. How is it going? Well, sorry I've been away. As I said before, I'm doing some stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, let me get into this story. You know what? I, I just don't know what's going on with this world today. I still keep saying it over and over. I cannot explain anything. I don't know. I just know that this world is getting more and more evil and more and more toxic. <clears throat> okay? So, I want to read this story about this lady, and it's like, it's crazy. I, I just don't get it. And I lightly use the word crazy because people have used that word, you know. So, anyway, um, unsettling. Um, North Carolina woman allegedly stabbed her five-year-old daughter to death, entered neighbor's home, and slept in the bed. You guys, what the heavens is going on with this woman? Let's see this woman's face. Wow. This is sad. This is really cold. This is really... Man, I don't even have words for this. I'm just going to go ahead and try my best to get through this story, okay? Alright. Let's go. Penny Short Hartle. I guess that's her name. A woman in Henderson County, North Carolina allegedly stabbed her five-year-old daughter to death. Penny Short Hart Hartle, 50, was arrested on April the 25th, said the local sheriff's office. The child was identified as Carolyn Rose Cagle. Oh my God. Uh, maybe Cagle? I don't know. In a WLOS report. And, um... I just don't see how, and, and I get so tired of people trying to play the insanity role, you know. Um, deputies said they got a report that Sunday morning regarding a stabbing. They arrived to find the five-year-old at home. She had died from her injuries, authorities said. It's pretty unsettling, neighbor Jan Harvey told the outlet. We're uh, casual friends. I would take them stuff. Uh, for their little girl popcorn things like that. I'll be praying for the family. Wow It has got to be hard especially for the neighbor to know that she was that close and didn't hear anything You know, maybe the little girl did like if you're asleep You don't get an opportunity to scream because somebody's waking you up out of your sleep and it's a shocking thing You know what I'm saying? So that's why they probably didn't know or hear anything which is really crazy so um another neighbor joe Koch, said a woman next door called him and said a lady came into her house and was sleeping in her bed so she just made herself a bed at somebody else's house that lady was harder according to the story she went into a neighbor's home about 1,000 yards from the murder scene and climbed into a bed Koch said he tried to wake her up wow this is crazy you guys that's why I say if I, I, I thank God because God knows all and I would never ever think that I know more than God. But I'm telling you, honey, if he gave me that opportunity, it'd be a whole lot of wounds closed up that would not be able to have children just that I know that they're unfit to be parents. So um, it says that um, where to go. OK, she wouldn't wake up, though. And he said a few minutes later she came out and got into a truck and sat down in it and took and looked like she was shredding paper. Her hands were kind of shaking and she acted like she didn't know who she was. Neighbor Alan Wilson, who said he was the former brother-in-law of Caroline's dad, oh wow, said the man was a wonderful father to her. He worked hard, went to work every day, and when he came home, all his time was with her, Wilson said. Wow, what is really going on here? Because she'll probably try to, and I'm glad if he knows this bit of information that, um, 
he'll be able to debunk any lie that she tell about her growing up this is not going to be a long video so after i read this last paragraph um about the neighbors told wlos that's going to be the end of this video i'm trying to get through them quick so that i can get things done so it says neighbors told wlos that the father found caroline unresponsive that sunday morning she was just a doll said wilson she was wayne's princess Hardo is charged with second degree murder and held without bond said the sheriff office yes yeah, she should never be able to get out the defendant is represented by the local public defender's office and waived her initial court appearance and that mugshot that i showed you was provided by the henderson county um sheriff's department you guys i'm going to put her mugshot back up there wow you just sit here and you tell me in the comments below what you think about this woman and her heinous crime against that baby you would actually stab the baby so if this is a dad that was coming home spending all his time with the little girl allegedly okay so that tells me that mom was jealous and mom was angry that dad didn't spend enough time with her and sometimes you know what when you have children the little girls will tend to cater to their dads more and you can't get jealous why would you get jealous of your child when you go to bed at night if your husband's trying to let the baby come in the room set your ground no 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 this is our time you know unless he doesn't love you then it's time for you to pack your bags take your child and move forward you don't have to kill your child because you're jealous this is ridiculous and if she pleads insanity and the judge goes for it he needs to be fired the prosecutor needs to be fired because there's no way you can plead insanity all of a sudden your hands are shaking and you're tearing up papers honey you were in a fit of rage and a fit of jealousy that's just my opinion and everybody has an opinion so you guys until next time i'll talk to you later have a great day be safe out there and don't forget to look out for your family members call them and check on them you guys and hit that like button that post notification bell you guys ring 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 and subscribe to the channel i would love to have you here talk to you later bye